All right, this is an update on the small box motor. I've been running tests this week, and uh, I'm just not pleased with the performance of the small coils. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the size of this coil to a number 20 wire, but I'm also going to open the frame up so the coils for the number 18 wire, the large coils that I know work good, will also fit this motor. That way it's got a universal way to handle the, these coil designs. I could run a coil on here and then also run it on the large box motor and they're all three wire connections so it's going to allow this to be a lot more universal and this will become a test bed for these coils for types of coils so what's going to happen even after I put all this nice uh, polycarbon and around the outside and it's no longer going to be th thick enough because this is going to sit right in there so as you can see I might be able to put us put the screws on the edge or put some something inside to screw to but <laughs> the covers are not going to work so it's got to be a little bit bigger than this so something about like like the edge of that and it needs to be this inside edge needs to be about right here so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that I know it's slowing things down but it's got to be right I can't give you guys plans to something that I haven't fully tested and I'm trying to run ahead of myself here uh, based on performance of the cart motor but this isn't the cart motor, this is smaller. But I want you guys to be able to build something if you're limited in space and I can use it as a test bed. So with all that said here, let's get this thing rolling and give you a look at it. See, 0 0.9 amps at 120 volts, 0.8 amps at 11.4 volts. That's no, there's no direct comparison. If you turn the amperage into watts, then you can compare it. So you do the calculation, uh, you know, the Ohm's law calculation, and convert. 0.8 amps at 11.5 volts into watts and then you do 1.06 amps at 124 volts in, into watts and compare the wattage this is not efficient it's not uh, close to the efficiency of the cart motor now the box motor is going to be built the big box motor will be built like the cart motor. I ran a few tests and I was using the small battery and I kept turning it off and I hooked two, even two of those small batteries together and it seemed to be okay you know I was just thinking well they're small batteries but that doesn't seem to be the case so I mean it's working but with what I'm doing here I think I might need control boards on all the all of them. And you can see there's the back. I'm running NICADs in the meter so I don't have to um, go through batteries and charge them. The NICADs work perfect. I can charge them on the smaller motor and take them out. So that's working. But as you can see, these are hooked in series and the wires run along this side to the breakout. So 
it's just not as efficient as I was hoping for. And this is why I wait to release these videos. I have to test this stuff and be sure of what I'm, I'm saying here. Uh, because I'm going through the Variac, the Variac saying I'm at 85 volts, but the caps are reading 124. Now I've run this up to 160, which is what the chips are rated at. And you remember these things are, it's a micro pulse, so I think it'll even go higher. Now, do I run it higher and risk frying the chips at 180 volts or not? That's the question. So you can see there, 160 volts, 1.8 amps in. 1.6 amps out. I've decided I'm going to just pull the slave coils and use master coils all the way around and that should take care of the problem. So when I get that done I'll post some new videos. I want to drive a generator with it and it's barely getting above five six hundred RPM you know it's nothing like the cart motor so and it should actually run faster, it's smaller. So I'm going to do this and I'll post the results here in a few days. Polycarbonate covers all the way around to protect any, any debris if something breaks loose. It's not going to fly off and hit anybody. I'm using 9, 9 volt NICADs on the meters so I can charge them with my other motor. And uh, basically it's going to be a fairly decent display motor once I've got this problem solved. So, this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel, signing out.